So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? That is a silver dapple pinto. I know. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you- No! Are you insane? So I recently made a video speculating on Arthur's mystery Blackwater horse, Bodicea, and there was so much activity in the comments concerning the Silver Dapple Pinto Missouri Foxtrotter. Sean McManus says, for my top three picks, I think Bodicea is either a Silver Dapple Pinto or a Chocolate Roan Dutch Warmblood or a Dark Bay Turkoman. Hey Sean, I do like those Dark Bay Turks. Exotic Toxins comments, I imagine that Bodicea was a silver dapple pinto. Arthur most likely lost her fleeing Blackwater, and coincidentally, you can later buy one from the Blackwater stable. An excellent point, which we will discuss further. Teague Vanderbeek says, I think Arthur's horse Bodicea might have actually been a silver dapple pinto. Only reason for this is because it's the only horse in the game that he identifies by the breed during one of the photographer missions. This leads me to believe that he had knowledge of the breed prior to the events of Red Dead Redemption 2. While Daunting Kitty comments, I always imagined that she was a Silver Dapple Pinto Missouri Foxtrotter. It's the only breed Arthur recognizes by name and was pretty impressed by it. He was very impressed with that horse. And Julia Pachulzak says, I believe it's a Missouri Foxtrotter, maybe a black one, one we can't get, or one we're not supposed to get, if you know what I mean, Julia. JJ loved the idea. In my opinion, I was thinking the Foxtrotter was the breed of Bodicea, as it was the only horse Arthur could name. And in answer to your question, JJ, we are doing a full game commentary on this channel, and the Merry Mission is coming up, so we will definitely check out that mystery horse you noticed. Dan FCB comments, I've read that she was a race horse, so that could mean the MFT, which has race as one of its multi-class, or the thoroughbred. I do like those thoroughbreds, Dan, and the Brindle is one of my all-time favorites. Also, shout out to Dr. Skullhammer, a longtime supporter of the channel and very active in the comments. Orisa Farish says, I think Bodicea is an MFT. I mean, Hosea has a Turkoman, Dutch with his Arabian, but I don't know, just my theory. It's all theory, Orisa. We don't have enough facts here, so all we can do is ask questions and speculate. Dominant Fury writes not to mention that when photographing the wild horses, he only mentions the Silver Dapple Pinto Missouri Foxtrotter and not the other more common horses. An excellent point, which we will discuss further. And finally, Smilty Bart Cute, another longtime supporter of the channel, says, I think that this horse is the Silver Dapple Pinto MFT. Additionally, I'm reading Arthur's journal in a new video series, and Lalitha P. Lalitha writes, 516, I think that horse is Arthur's old horse, Bodicea. And Lilitha is referring to this drawing, which is a quick sketch of a horse and really could be any horse. But those white highlights may actually be the distinctive markings of the Silver Dapple Pinto Missouri Foxtrotter. Here is Arthur's drawing of the Tennessee Walker and his camp at Horseshoe Overlook for reference. The only in-game reference to Bodicea comes during the introduction to Hosea's bear hunting mission in Chapter 2, Exit Pursued by a Bruised Ego, which, in case you didn't know, is a Shakespeare reference. It's from The Winter's Tale. Hey, Arthur! Jose? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear, one of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God, but you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. And that is all the information we get on Bodicea. I would like to reiterate that Bodicea was an actual historical figure from Roman Britain. She was a Celtic warrior queen who amassed troops and led an uprising against the Romans in 60 AD, often depicted with red hair and driving a war chariot. She's an intriguing choice for Arthur to choose to name a horse after her. Now we move on to the Silver Dapple Pinto Missouri Foxtrotter. Arthur sees one while helping the nature photographer Albert Mason. So, you're still alive. Huh. Mr. Morgan! How are you? Indigestible, apparently. Aside from that, very well. How's the project going? 
Well, this is God's country, and I am his faithful servant, although perhaps not his most talented one. I have been trying to capture the grace of the wild horses here for weeks, only the buggers can't stand me. Ah. That is a silver dapple pinto. I know. Beautiful. Won't come anywhere near me, of course. He can smell my stupidity. Well, how about I drive him over? Oh, that might help. Can you be bothered? I feel like such a blunderer. Sure. Wait here. At least this time I doubt I'll get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> and as it has been stated in the comments, this is the only horse breed Arthur flat out mentions by name. Listen to the admiration in his voice. Let's watch that again. That is a silver dapple pinto. I know. Beautiful. This is an endgame horse, but it is entirely possible to find one at Moonstone Pond if you're very lucky. The event occurs randomly and is extremely difficult to manipulate, but you can get this horse if you have enough patience and time. Me twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Sure. Glad I ran into you. Huh. But for all intents and purposes, this horse is locked out for Arthur and only available for John post-game at the Blackwater Stable. She is a high-end horse and will set you back around 950 bucks, depending on your honor. Stats at level 4 come in at a very respectable 8 health and 9 stamina. The stable choice is also intriguing. This horse is only available in Blackwater, not Tumbleweed, not Valentine, and not Saint Denis. She is a Blackwater horse, and she may very well be the horse Arthur was forced to leave or abandon in Blackwater. One of the aspects that makes this game so great is its seemingly endless ability to inspire conversation and thought outside of actual gameplay. It elevates the game into the realm of art, and discussions on Bodicea are part of that process. As far as the Silver Dapple Pinto Missouri Foxtrotter is concerned, she is certainly a fine horse, and to paraphrase Arthur, she could be Bodicea. And if you are wondering if you can somehow grab that horse from the Albert Mason mission, the answer is you cannot. You cannot calm her, you cannot feed her, you cannot mount her. And if you keep bugging her, you'll get a kick for your troubles. Albert does have a fine photograph of the wolves from the previous mission, which hopefully you killed and turned into satchels and jackets. You are a genius! No, but I can ride a horse. Well, in my world, that makes you a genius. You're too kind. <laughs> so how are the uh, photos coming along? Oh, amazing! Here, I have a print of the wolves before they tried to eat us. Hmm. 
It's for you. That's real fine. Well, thank you. Take care, Mr. Mason. You too, sir. You too. Now for a few final tips. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again further on down the trail. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing.